Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is just the motorway, the M6 between Birmingham and, and uh, Manchester. We are stuck here for 27 minutes. So the other lane, the opposite direction, south, is moving. But us going to the northern part of the world, we are stuck. Uh, I, 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 I'm just going to paraphrase what is happening in this attack. The false prophets, the politicians, the elections, and the general consensus of Satan. Uh, I would want to say Munangagwa has become a stage for cancer in Satan. In the sense that when cancer strikes the human body, it does that in stages. Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. When you get to stage four, then it becomes very deadly and it needs a miracle for you to be healed and God can heal you. But when you get to stage four, usually it's a very, very, very bad situation. Now, there was a period in Sadak in the 90s when South Africa, when Mozambique, when Namibia, when Zambia, when Malawi, Angola, they saw ZANU PF doing what they were doing and they were clipping their hands. Even the UN, the United Nations, they were clipping their hands for Mugabe because it was a what? It was a conspiracy. If the people of Zimbabwe, as I always say, think that UN is going to solve their problems, then the nightmare is going to continue. Because UN has nothing to do with Zimbabwe. It's fighting for Islam. As simple as that. If you want to know what UN is all about, just go to Israel and Hezbollah. That's when you will know that there's something called the United Nations. Why? They are only fighting for Islam. As simple as that. Now, going back to Satan. There are demonstrations presently in Mozambique. Why Munangagwa wanted to rig the Mozambican elections for the ruling party for Elimu, if I'm right. So now, what Munangagwa did is that there are people from Zimbabwe who registered to vote in Mozambique. More than 2,000 or... I, I, I'm sure the number is more than 2,000 Zimbabweans who voted in Mozambique. And the Mozambicans read that script. And they said, we are not going to take it. Now there are riots. And I understand the Prime Minister or the President of Mozambique has been flown out of Mozambique because it is becoming dangerous for him to live in Maputo. Why? The soldiers are split. Some support Frelimo, some support the opposition. So the president who read the elections does not feel safe to be living in Mozambique. Hence, I say Munangagwa is now the stage for cancer of Sadak. Now, you should have thought that rigging was going to be a Zimbabwe phenomenon. But now we see it in Mozambique. Now, the latest move I am hearing now from uh, Namibia about Swapo is that in the rural areas, where they have strongholds. The people who are going to vote are holding flags of Swapo. Meaning, whenever they see someone holding a flag of Swapo, they know they are voting for the ruling party. They give them papers to vote. And when someone is not holding a flag, they say the ballot boxes or the ballot papers are finished. Meaning, the only people who are voting are voting for Swapo. A strategy which they took from ZANU PF. Now, where is it going to end? The Mozambican elections were rigged. The Namibian elections are going to be rigged. And now in South Africa, there is a government which is not very strong in the sense that it's shaky. It's a government of many parties. And from the way I see it, I don't think it is going to last given that they now want to impeach Ramaphosa because of the pala pala scandal. Now, if 
that is a big if if Ramaphosa is to be impeached for the Pala Pala scandal then there is open chaos in Sata. The rate at which crime in South Africa is increasing given the acceleration that the government is useless then we are going to have a disaster in Satak. Hence, I am saying Munangagwa is becoming a cancer in the Satak region. Not only is he becoming a cancer, but a stage four, full-blown one, where the whole body is being affected. I know little about medicine and cancer and the human body, but what I understand about the consequences of stage four cancer is that every organ is affected when you have got cancer which has developed to stage four whether it is on the toe or on the head or wherever it is the lungs are affected the legs are affected the hands are affected hence life becomes life comes to an end this is exactly what Mnangagwa is doing with this, the Sadak region now where are we going as a, as a region I now go back to false prophets. When you look at all these organizations which are rigging elections, they are supported by people like Bushiri, people like Angel Hubert, people like uh, Alfu Lukau, people like Walter Magaya. And all these fake prophets, they have a hand in governments which are rigging elections. You heard Shepard Bushiri prophesying about Botswana and it was a false prophecy that the ruling party in Botswana was going to retain its power and the opposite happened. Why? All he wanted was the ruling party of Botswana must take over. I must continue ruling. That would give him an advantage over his what? His deals in Sadak. You heard him saying ZANU-PF is the good party. You heard him say, you heard Angel Hubert prophesying about Malema that is not going to take over, but the ruling party is going to continue being in power. Why? This is a beast system, which is, we find in Revelation. The false prophet and the beast giving each other power. In case you don't understand what is a beast, a beast is a government. Daniel 7 verse 17 the beasts which you saw the four beasts are kingdoms so whenever you meet the word beast in the bible try to transfer it to a what to a government metaphorical of course there, there are incidences where you meet a beast as an animal that is another case now how are we going to live in southern africa with what is happening now in namibia Chaos can erupt in Namibia anytime. There can be war in Namibia. There can be war in Mozambique. There can be war in South Africa. There can be war in Zimbabwe. Who caused all this? ZANU-PF and Munangaku. Thank you.